Hey guys, MTAST here, and uh, I want to talk about something gaming related today, something different, and uh, it's about ergonomics and it's about your back. Now just, just wait, I want, to, I want to say this because this is such a stupid, tiny little thing that has caused me back pain for almost two years that I fixed in, in, in like five days. Okay, and so if this is impacting you, if, if this sounds like, like you, I found out what the reason was. I went to a physiotherapist and I asked, I said, oh my god, I have had back problems. I've, I've had pain right here. Right there. I stand up pretty straight. My posture is pretty straight. My shoulders are for the most part back. When I sit in my chair, my posture is pretty good. I'm a pretty fit guy, and so to have my posture deteriorate doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, if you sit in a chair all day long, or even if you stand at a desk all day long, your muscles uh, do give out. So if you're sitting in a chair for 30 minutes, your glutes start to give out, right? Your, your butt muscles start to give out and your back has to start working, especially your lower back, right? And then it trickles up, trickles up, trickles up, it causes issues, and eventually you slouch forward and you're gaming like this, right? Your, your muscles are so tired, you're fatigued. If you stand up for just a little bit, it kind of resets things and you're good to go. But that wasn't the problem. I switched to a standing desk recently and uh, it has helped a little bit because I sit down for a couple hours and then I stand up for a uh, couple hours. I've got a motorized desk so I can go, ah, oh, I can go up and down, up and down with it. And I'm actually gonna put the camera down so I can show you the issue. I want to show you what is wrong. So, for most of my gaming career, I used a controller. <laughs> Use my Astro link in the description. I used a controller, and I played like this. Arms in, I got a little bend. This is good. My posture was slightly leaned forward, but nothing too crazy. But my arms being in here is the key, right? Now, I'm going to just drop down to my knees here, <laughs> like I always do. One thing changed in the last two years, which started my back pain, and that is Destiny 2 coming out on PC. Now, I played a bit of PUBG, but Destiny was still on console. So I'd switch be between playing PUBG and going back to Destiny. And then Destiny came out on PC, Fortnite came out on PC, I played Anthem on PC, I played Division 2 on PC, every game that came out was on PC, and I was playing it. And it ruined my back! Because of about three inches, four inches of a keyboard. Now, let me show you my keyboard here. This is the Destiny 2 keyboard that came uh, from Razer. I love this keyboard, it's a good keyboard, I have no major issues with this keyboard. And you might not be plagued by this problem. Because of how far apart your shoulders are, you might have a very different experience than me. But I can't use keyboards like this anymore. This is a regular keyboard with the number pad over here, right? It's got the caps lock, it's got the number pad, it's got print screen, all that stuff on this side of the keyboard. But you can see here, it's one hand, probably two hand widths almost. Let's say, let's say one and a half, uh, just so we're generous, but it's about two hand widths, one and a half, two hand widths. Now that distance is almost identical to how far my WASD hand has to move, right? From my mouse pad. So I have to move over this way that much. Now this causes an interesting thing to happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse and keyboard down. I'm gonna put them as close as possible. So I'm gonna put my keyboard touching and my mouse pad touching, and I'm gonna get into a comfortable position. I'm gonna show you what happens. So this was me gaming ergonomically with my controller, elbows tucked in. This is me in proper position with my mouse and keyboard. I'm gonna move this up. Can you see what's happening? Now, I, I'm, I'm kind of standing awkward here, but can you see what's happening with my arms? They're starting to move out. They're actually moved out quite a bit. And this is a major, major problem. Okay? When your arms are out like this, 
it's causing your shoulder blades to to turn right they have to they have to to adjust it changes the muscles in your back and it causes a shitload of pressure right here right in this spot that I've had all of these problems. So I went to the physiotherapist, I was talking about him, he's like, okay, well show me, show me your gaming setup. Take some pictures in it, show me your ergonomics. He went through everything, he said, this is great, this is great, this is great, that is great. He said, that, right there, this, right here, this is the cause. This little position, this tiny, all, of, all I'm doing is going, yep, boom, ruined my back. I could fix it. Thank God I could fix it. But but look at this. Does this look does this look like it would cause two years of chronic annoyance? Huh? I'm, I, it's like an inch. I'm move, I'm hardly moving my arms. Does this look like it would ruin my back? No. That's what I thought too. In some cases, I felt like maybe I should spread out more. Like yeah, get in get into gaming. I screwed myself. I thought hey maybe I'll just like freaking spread out and, and really get into it and lean into it. I ruined my back because of that much space right there. A hand, one hand. So let me show you what I did. And it's not quite perfect, but, and, and this isn't sponsored. Okay. This isn't sponsored, but this is the Logitech, uh, pro mouse and keyboard. Well, I've got the mouse and the keyboard. I'm, I'm used to saying the mouse cause I've been using the mouse. But I had one of these that Logitech sent me. Now, do you notice how small this is? This is a pro one. It doesn't have this whole extra piece. I can't even fit it in the camera, right? It doesn't have this whole extra piece. And so what happens when it doesn't have this whole extra piece is I can put it right next to my keyboard. And so if I get back into that same gaming position and I put WASD and I grab my mouse, now look at my hands. Hey, let me do, let me bring it down here so you can you can see the whole elbow action. The mouse and keyboard are in the exact same spots as before. I'm just putting my hands on it. W A S D. This. Now I've got a little bit of gap over here, right? Maybe, but my elbows are now tucked in. My elbows are now almost touching. Hey, let me just bring this down here. Can I bring this down? You're gonna see some glare on the desk here from the green screen, but. It is, it is closer now. You can kind of see this. I don't have all of this extra space here. Like I, I would have this much extra space. The keyboard would be all the way out here before. Okay. And all that extra space is spacing out my back and ruining in, uh, my posture. And it, it's fatiguing my muscles, right? So I don't know if I can get this camera back to where it was. Hopefully I can just to get all the angles back to right. Yeah, it's gonna look a little messed up, I'll fix it later. But this tiny little change has already started reducing the pressure in my back. And it's just cause I went from here to here. Just a, 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 a little reduction in that. Because with ergonomics and with your posture and when you're gaming, if your wrist is like this, you're all right. If your wrist is like, I'm talking that much, that much curve all day. If you have to lift your wrist that much, you can cause carpal tunnel syndrome. If you're gaming multiple hours a day, if you're typing on a keyboard, you're straight. If you just have a little, yep, ruin your wrist. You can, you can literally need surgery. If your mouse and keyboard, okay? You've got your mouse. I already, I, I kind of tilt my hand, right? If, you, if, if you're one of those people that tilt this way or you tilt really far that way when you're playing, some people play like this. You are crippling your wrist long term. Some people literally play like that. They have it on a, on a, on a tilt like this and they like to, they like to mouse it around or they have it like this and they mouse it around like this. You need to try to keep it nice and straight, like right, right in there. Because if you don't, it is, it is tiny bits of pressure on your wrist all day, every day, back to back to back to back to back. And it ruins the tendons, the ligaments in it. It, it can cause major issues. And, um, I'm like, I'm like shocked at how just going like this turn my back around. So I'm not telling you guys to go get a new keyboard, but you might want to consider looking at your options in case something like this is happening to you. Go stand by your setup and see how far apart your arms are in a comfortable, comfortable position. And it might feel weird playing with your arms 
close like this. But this is what you should be doing. They should be tucked in. Your elbows should be like by the side of your body, 90 degrees here, right? Kind of like this. If your arms are out like this, there is a problem and you might not feel it now, but you will long term. And I wish I had known this sooner because it's been almost two years of constant, constant pain in my back. It's not bad pain. It's like a, a one to a three. It's not bad. I, I always feel like I need to do this though. Like kind of crack it and move it and it just feels a little tight. Well, the pain's starting to go away. So that's my, that's my quick little video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I know this is a little bit differently, but hey, you got a, a, a couple days before the Shadow Keep DLC. Maybe it's something you want to consider. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited for Shadow Keep. I'm so excited to make content. I, uh, I'm in like the best mood ever. I'm working on a bunch of guides. I'm working on getting a bunch of footage today because Monday uh, the servers are down for Destiny 2 and I can't actually play Destiny 2 so I'm going to make a bunch of beginner guides. I'm going to try and get about five or six guides out on Monday. They're going to be kind of back to back every couple of hours. They're going to cover some basic topics about the game for players that might be joining. So if you have a friend that hasn't played before, maybe send them my way because I'm going to have a video that will help them out. All right. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.